There's a program that psychologists from St. Vincent's like to use that says, in the subliminal, you can't find it. By doing that to people, they put them in a position of not feeling good about their life so that they want to be medicated, or they want to be helped, or they want to be found. A Catholic hospital will do things like that. The program, You Can't Find It, can be played in a very, very high pitch or low pitch, inaudible, but somewhat audible, audio file. And it literally says, whatever you're looking for, you can't find it. So you can put your hands in your pocket looking for something, but then you can't find it, you can't feel it, you can't touch it. And it's the lie that the American government allows the Mental Health Association to play with because they're always testing things without the lawful consent of the constituent or the party that they're attacking. The liars of America do that. They're trying to produce the invisible man, and sometimes they can. They can basically say, you know that person you really love and care for? You cannot see them by what they really look like. So it's possible that my brother rode by me on a bicycle many times, but he looked like a Japanese man. And it's possible that one of my siblings came into the community where I was living and fucked me off with their fingers and it looked like her hand and it looked like her gestures but it didn't look the least bit like her. It looked like a much fatter ass curly haired crazy lady who was attacking my life. Many times. And openly then she'd lie to me and say I've never been there. I've been there in 30 years. Really? Interesting. Prove that. Then there was a time when I was sitting across the street at Caddy Corp from a maze shop and I saw a woman who had all the personal management mannerisms of one of my siblings. And I thought, wow, that's weird, but it doesn't look like her. And I used my monocular to look. And speaking of which, someone stole my monocular after they ruined it from my pocket. You see, the liars in America don't care what your boundaries are. The liars in America don't care how you want to wear your hair. The liars in America don't care how you care for your clothing. And I found two pairs of sweatpants now that have holes cut in the pockets. I didn't ask you to do that. And I'm not rough enough in my pockets with anything sharp to do that. I've been wearing shoes and clothes my entire fucking life, and I've never had a pair of shoes that got a hole burnt in it by someone's cigarette. The liars of America like to do that. They lie about their rights, they lie about what they do, they go and they buy one fucking thing from a store, and then they walk out like, Okay, I did that, been there, I've seen you now, and I'm cool. You're not. You look nothing like me, but look at how you've got glasses like me. Look at how you might try to pretend to be me. Is that true, or am I just someone who's arrogant? The liars of America ruined a life today. The liars of America have ruined my wife in every way. The liars in America don't know my life in any way, but the liars of America are sadly motherfuckers here to stay.